The unexpected happened. 3 Eye Atlas changed. It went from glowing green to glowing in the blue spectrum. We thought 3 Eye Atlas would be hidden behind the sun for weeks because most of our technology cannot observe it during this time. Scientists expected it to either break apart from the intense heat or simply fade as it made its closest approach. And now, fresh data suggests something even stranger is going on with this interstellar visitor. Today, we're breaking down the newest scientific paper, examining what NASA's instruments captured at closest approach to the sun, and exploring why some researchers are raising eyebrows about data that keeps getting stranger. As always, I'm here to report the information without bias, and you can decide what to believe. You can find the sources in my detailed articles at ufonews.co, along with in the description box below. Hey, you follow? I'm Christina Gomez, and welcome to this episode of UFO News Updates. A new paper published on October 28th by researchers Ji Chung Shang from Lowell Observatory and Carl Badams from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory documents something that is crazy. Between September and October of this year, as 3I Atlas approached its closest point to the sun, it brightened at a rate never before recorded of any comet. The team analyzed data from multiple space instruments, including Stereo A's camera, the SOHO Observatory, and GO-19's coronagraph. These are satellites that continuously monitor the sun and happen to capture 3 I atlas during a period when Earth-based telescopes couldn't observe it due to the solar glare. The comet's brightness increased with a power scaling of negative 7.5. To put that into context, typical comets brighten at rates between negative 2 and negative 4 as they approach the sun. This means 3 I atlas was getting dramatically brighter, far faster than any known solar system comment. What could be the conventional reason for that? Either way, getting data is challenging. Here's what Avi Loeb had to say on Newsmax. I corresponded with uh, Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, who promised to get in touch with NASA and encourage them to release the data because uh, the principal investigator is at the University of Arizona, he's not a NASA employee, and moreover, it's time to share the data with the scientific community, even if they don't want to make a press uh, release um, that it has nothing to do with communicating it uh, to, to the media. It has to do with scientific practice allowing us to plan the observations ahead yes. according yes. to what we already know. Beyond the unusual brightening, the research paper documents something even more bizarre. When scientists analyzed the color of 3 I Atlas using different filters on the Lasco coronagraph, they discovered the comet appeared distinctly bluer than the sun. And this finding contradicts basic physics. Comets are covered in dust and ice. Dust scatters light in a way that makes objects appear redder, not bluer. Additionally, the surface temperature of 3 I Atlas should be approximately 20 times cooler than the sun's photosphere which sits at about 5,800 degrees Kelvin. The research paper suggests two possible explanations. First, gas emissions from molecules like carbon monoxide when heated, carbon dioxide, and ammonia could be contributing significant visual light. These gases can produce blue wavelengths when excited by solar radiation. The second possibility involves heat sources we have not yet identified. If 3I Atlas is predominantly ice and dusty as expected, explaining temperatures high enough to produce blue light becomes extremely difficult. But if you thought that was weird, it only gets more weird, so stay with me on this. The day after 3I Atlas reached its closest approach to the sun, a NASA engineer by the name of David Farnosia reported some Something rather unusual. He discovered that forces other than just gravity are now pushing and pulling on this object as it travels through space. The measurements showed the comet is being pushed away from the sun at 135 kilometers per day squared, and it is also being nudged sideways at 60 kilometers per day squared. Now, for normal comets, this kind of push usually comes from ice heating up and turning into gas which shoots off the surface like a rocket engine in slow motion. If this pushing force is coming from normal ice turning to gas, the math tells us something important. 
at the speed this is happening. 3i Atlas would be losing about half of its total mass every six months. That is a massive amount of material being thrown off in a very short time. If this continues, scientists should be able to see a huge cloud of gas and dust around the comet when it gets closer to Earth in December, which would prove this is what is actually happening. You know, yesterday was a special day. That was the day when 3i Atlas came closest to the sun. We cannot observe it from Earth because the sun is between us and this object. However, there are several instruments that were able to observe it that are looking at the sun, uh, and, and uh, some of them are satellites. And uh, as of this morning, we have a report that the object got much brighter than expected, much brighter than any previous comet from the solar system did as uh, it approached the sun, uh, perihelion, so to speak. And moreover, the color of the object is blue, bluer than the sun, and that's very surprising. The scientific paper projects that if these trends continue, 3i Atlas should be visible at approximately magnitude 9 in visible light as it emerges from behind the sun. And that is bright enough to be seen through amateur telescopes. The European Space Agency's Juice spacecraft currently traveling toward Jupiter is positioned to make observations in early November. However, because Juice uses its communication dish as a heat shield when pointed at the sun, the data will not be transmitted back to Earth until February 2026. Surprise, surprise. The real test comes on December 19th when 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth at a distance of 269 million kilometers. And at that point, hundreds of ground-based telescopes, along with the Hubble Space Telescope and potentially the James Webb Space Telescope, will have clear views. If 3i Atlas lost 10% of its mass through outgassing, as the math suggests, that should be obvious. There should be a massive plume of gas and dust visible surrounding the object. Scientists will be able to measure the composition of that material through spectroscopy, breaking down the light into its component wavelengths to identify specific molecules. The observation will also reveal whether the blue color persists or was a temporary phenomenon related to peak heating. If it was ionized carbon monoxide, as some researchers suggest, we should see specific emission lines in that spectrum. If it was something else, the December observation might give us our first real clues. However, one critical piece of information remains missing. Despite multiple requests from scientists and even congressional representatives, NASA has not released high-resolution images taken by the high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter on October 2nd. That instrument captured 3i Atlas at a distance where its 30-megapixel camera could potentially resolve surface features. Hmm, I wonder why. Acting NASA head Sean Duffy mentioned time and time again how transparent NASA is, but his words are not matching the actions. We are ultra transparent. Well, either way, the delay in releasing this data has raised questions, as it should. According to reporting from the IFL Science published on October 30th, 3i Atlas passed both solar conjunction and closest approach without breaking apart. The object remains intact, which is kind of unusual. It is currently within the orbit of Mars, but moving away from the sun each day. Now, what makes this object so valuable to science is where it came from. 3i Atlas formed around a completely different star, in another solar system, potentially billions of years ago. Some scientists think it could be twice as old as our own solar system. By studying it, we get a very rare glimpse into how planets and comets formed in an entirely different cosmic neighborhood. And that is one of the biggest takeaways from the object if it is natural. It still has so much to offer humanity to help us better understand space. As December approaches and more telescopes point towards 3i Atlas, we will be covering every major development. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you do not miss any of the analysis with those crucial observations coming in. The next few months could answer a lot of our questions or raise entirely new ones. I'm Christina Gomez and that is it for today. I will see you again at 1 a.m. PST for our Halloween live stream. Be safe and remember, keep your eyes on the skies.
enjoyed today's show, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the notification bell as I do daily UFO news and updates, fresh UAP stories, government disclosures, and breaking developments land here every single day.